I'm Michelle McKenzie, and welcome to the show. It's the show about everything that happened in sports this week. Kind of, you'll see. Let me grab a coffee. That's fake. Didn't even try to hide this light. Beer? Nope, fridge is fake too. Why do we have a fake kitchen? Why are we in a fake living room? I honestly don't know. It's not ours. We're not even supposed to be here. But Elliot Freeman will join me, and we'll get to the bottom of the question that everyone has been asking me. For a guy that lives so far from the ocean, why does it look like he always just got off a boat? I could make out with myself right now. You also may be wondering why I'm dressed like this. Simple answer, it's my show, I can do what I want. Everything you see here, probably not ours. I didn't set this up, I just showed up. This though, well this is where things get fun. This is home base. Welcome to the show. That's what it's called, it's simple. The show with me, Sean McKenzie. The NHL trade deadline has come and gone. The playoffs are upon us. So a very special guest, Elliot Freeman, thank you for joining the show. Thanks very much, Sean. I, I'm looking at the set here. This is actually Colby Armstrong's living room. <laughs> so you're a hockey expert. You've broken a lot of trades. Okay. We're here to talk about your clothes. Okay. Favorite designer. Who is it and why does it look like it's an 80s drug dealer? <laughs> That's always the look I've kind of gone for. Do you feel every Saturday night you try to reinvent yourself? You know what it is? I'll tell you, I always had this feeling of, what can I get away with? Is this going to be the week where finally somebody says to me, Elliot, you can't do that? I thought they should have a long time ago. <laughs> we want you to throw someone under the bus. OK, that's no problem. Name the worst dress person at Sportsnet. Well, unfortunately, Berkey's gone because he would have won that by a mile. Berkey always wore the same clothes. But now that he's gone, it's no question it's Amber. A specimen like he is, he's a failure when it comes to attire. I would say the thing that you're most known for, your turtleneck. <laughs> that probably is what the mass population knows you for. I had a player reach out to me who said, never have I wanted to be you until now. <laughs> How did you go from this to this? I love that. I love this picture of myself. I could make out with myself right now. I could make out with myself right now. I could make out with myself right now. Give me Elliot Freeman's fashion expertise on this outfit. I'm just glad you're wearing white underwear. That's all I can say. How do you know I am? Mm. <laughs> And now the show presents Outstanding Moments in Sporting Excellence. Over the course of his 17-year career, Mario Lemieux scored 690 goals, but none were more iconic than this Canada Cup winning goal in 1987. Set up by Wayne Gretzky, this goal came to symbolize one of the greatest eras in hockey history, forever leaving its mark on the sport. This has been footage of Mario Lemieux with cats we found. I mean, outstanding moments in sporting excellence. Kyle Lowry, he is a leader, a molder of basketball players, and just a truly great veteran. Why? Well, he did what all great veterans do. He took the Raptors rookies and he initiated them by making them sing the greatest pop song ever. Yes, I said ever. That, of course, would be Party in the USA. You ready? Let's go. Hit it, Polly. Popcorn. Turn it up. Wait, when do you, wait, when do you go in? I don't know. Wait, when do you go in? Is it now? I hopped off the plane at LA. a little embarrassing and I'm not even really sure why we showed you that clip it is over a week old but oh Sean I know why we showed it why um you know how they're like rookies yes and you know how like you're like a rookie hosting the show but it's episode one series one so you're we're all rookies right but you're a rookie right so can you sing Miley Cyrus party in the USA for us I was waiting for you to ask mm -hmm. 